Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Sugar Pink DIY. And many of you might already know me, but if you're new to this channel, my name is Brenda. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you 10 ideas or 10 tips on how to organize yourself in this quarantine. I also want to send a shout out to Aretza Martinez and Carlos Alberto Jimenez. He also has a channel and he always comments on my videos, so it was time for me to say hi to him. And I also want to send a shout out to Michelle Rodriguez. She was actually the one who gave me the idea and, and requested this video on organizing yourself during quarantine. But if you also have some ideas, leave them down in the comments below. And now let's go on to the video. Alrighty guys, so what we can do when we wake up is thank God that we woke up, read the Bible if you want, and ask for a nice day. When my mom and aunts were young, they went to a boarding school and there they were taught to remove their blankets and comforters to avoid any infections, sort of like cleanse with the air. So just set aside your comforters and blankets for a while. And in the meantime, you can just take a shower. After, just get dressed and get ready and just wear clothes that give you energy so you're energized throughout the day. Just wear casual clothes and nothing baggy. And once you're all set and ready, you can start making your bed sort of like this or however you're used to making your bed. And as you guys will see, I have a lot of pillows and I like placing the large pillows in the back and then the small pillows in the front. And this way I feel like they decorate your bed and make your bed look larger or bigger than it actually is. Plus this is also a super cute and super cool touch. Another tip for this quarantine is that you should always have or you should have a small space or a small office for you to work on your homework or personal things and basically this is how my desk looks when it's clean of course. One thing that I notice is that because my desk is against the wall I tend to put a lot of things on top and because of this my desk is never clean. So to fix this I turned it and now it's facing my bed. And because it's not against the wall if we put things on top they can fall so I never put anything. So if you need a tip on how to keep your desk clean, just keep it away from the wall. And next to my desk, I have this piece of furniture where I keep all of my stationery. And having your stationery right next to your desk or as close as possible to your office makes things easier for when you have to do homework or work on personal things. So for example, right here underneath my desk, I have my watercolors as well as some markers and notebooks. Another tip to keep yourself organized during this quarantine, especially with school still going on, Download an app for your school. So basically what we have is Canvas and in the dashboard section We can find all the classes that I'm taking during this semester if we click on to do then we find the assignments that are due this week So basically this assignment is due on April 21st and it also gives you like a small description of the assignment And this is actually super helpful because you don't actually have to use a computer to access your school information Plus you also get notifications on class assignments class discussions, emails, and just questions that your professors or classmates might have. But if your school doesn't have an app or you just don't feel like downloading the app, just make sure that you're frequently checking your website, your school's website, so you're up to date with all of the assignments, and specially check your calendar section. And you can use your digital calendar to jot things down on a paper calendar, your planner, your agenda, or a bullet journal. And basically, all you need to do is copy things from your digital calendar onto your paper calendar. And when you put it away, try to put it away as close as possible to your office or your workspace so it's always handy when you need it. Since we're not actually going to school, just empty your backpack and put all of your school supplies in a place where you can actually see them and grab them when you need them. Another tip for this quarantine is that you can make a to-do list and you can either make one for your daily tasks or your weekly tasks. As you guys can see, I have mine from April 20th all the way to April 25th. So I have a weekly to-do list. Plus you can also make a school to-do list and a personal to-do list. And we can also make our to-do list on sticky notes since we can stick them onto any surface. And stick them as close as possible to your office or workspace so you're always remembered of the things that you have to do throughout the week or throughout the day. Another cool idea is to grab a paper and decorate that paper with washi tape or with whatever you prefer and then just write a schedule on it. And this way you can organize the things that you have to do by time. 
For example, you might need 30 minutes to an hour to get dressed and get ready. Or you can use between 15 and 30 minutes to clean your room. Or breakfast might take longer if you like eating breakfast while watching your favorite Netflix shows, for example, Money Heist, which I actually love, and discovering that Nairobi died. And then just keep on dividing your day depending on how long some activities might take. And because we're in quarantine right now, the best thing about this idea is that we don't have to be constantly changing it or changing it every single day since our daily routines are basically the same. And lastly, we can attach this paper to the wall or put it in a picture frame to look at, to make it look pretty or cool. And once we're done with our activities, we can just rest. Alright guys, and this was it for today's idea or ideas. I hope you like them and I hope that you find them helpful to organize yourself during this quarantine. And now, see you on the following video. Bye guys!